Jason, how tough is that to take season over? Yeah, it's yeah, it's hard. I'm not gonna lie, it's from where we got to the pre-season we had in the first half of the season, and yeah, disappointing. That performance probably summed up at back end of the year. We just not quite nailing a few things. Our effort and fight was outstanding, but yeah, just not capitalising when we had opportunities and then leaking points from when they had them. It, it was a, st a stunning collapse towards the back end of the year, considering where you were after round 11. Like, mm. I know it's raw now, but have you thought about that and what's kind of not gone right for you in that time? Oh, it's going to be part of a deep review for sure. Um, I've got to hold my hands up there. I'm the head coach. It's on me to make sure that we have better... Um, you know, we're not falling like we were. You know, there's good city who make excuses, but yeah, it hurts. It's a it's a tough lesson to learn, but I'll learn it. Cam, how frustrating for you first after eleven rounds to now know that the season's done? Yeah, just um I let go of what the coach had, it's just disappointing and it's hard to put your finger on where it, where it went wrong, so um we we'll just make sure we remember how much this hurts and do our review and um, work out where we need to get better and just um, use this as motivation to uh, never feel this feeling again. JD is one of the most frustrating aspects that you know that your footy at the start of the year was good enough to beat the top teams and that it just wasn't there when you needed it most? Yeah, for sure, but momentum, confidence, you know, there's no guarantees in sport. You know, you, you earn the right to have it and you've got to earn the right to maintain it. And, and there's lots of little things that go on with injuries, suspensions, all these type of things that happen during the course of a season. But, you know, there's, we've got to have a deep look and I've got to have a deep look at how I, I handled that situation and that middle part, especially through the origin period and how we came out of it. And like I said, it's it, it hurts now and they're tough lessons, but... Um, I'll learn them. Cam, can you pimp? Obviously, JD just said you're a team that likes to play with confidence, with a lot of zip. Like, when you look back at the year, where do you think you can kind of pinpoint where things started to go in the wrong direction? This game or the, 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 the whole, year. whole year generally? Because you're doing so well and looks yeah, so good. Yeah, well, like I just said, it's just it's hard to put your finger on it. So um, I don't have all the answers. Um, I'm not too sure. So uh, we'll re review it and. Um, make sure we get our learnings and we'll get better. What's yeah. that noise, JD? Like all the talk, everything that's gone on in the last couple of weeks, like has that seeped its way in? Has it, has it been a factor in this? Oh, look, I think it's disappointing. It's disappointing that as a club we haven't had that the last few years. You know, we're a pretty tight ship. We, you know, we have, like any club, we work in our things together and we, you know, we work in, on it in, inside the four walls. So it's disappointing that you know, things are getting out and all things are being said that a lot of it isn't true, but at the end of the day, we can't change it. It's not, it's, again, it's a small part of probably a lot of little things that have added to where we're at. There's not, it's not going to be about, oh, th that was one thing that happened that, you know, we're, we're talking about you know, three or four games where we're, we're six, five tries all, six tries all, and we get beat on goal kicks, you know, and when you're looking at missing the finals by one game, all those things add up. But... You know, like I said, I think there's lots of little things, lots of little learnings that we can take from it, and um, and it starts with me. Jason, how much of an impact did Blake Taft's concussion have on the results tonight? Oh, I think it had a fair impact. Yeah, it really started our attack. Obviously, not having the troll there and having to put AJ at the back, um, you know, probably affected our left edge. It was probably two or three opportunities where you, you think if he's on that wing, it's probably a different story, but you got to adjust to that. They had guys missing as well and um, they dealt with it. And I, f I felt for the large part, we did deal with it 16-12 was where we just probably didn't hold our nerve and stick to what we'd practised. Um, and we played a bit of panic footy and you know, it's probably because we're, we're in this point where the season's on the line and um, they do care and they, they want to win, but the pressure probably got to us a little bit. It felt like at that stage you had all the momentum going into that last 20 minutes. Did you feel like that up in the coaching box? You know, run over the top of them in that last 20 minutes. Yeah, for sure. I felt like you know we'd earned the right to get to 16-12, and 
I'm disappointed with the try after half time, but to get back to 16 12 and had a lot of field position, a lot of opportunities, we needed to just be patient. There was still plenty of time on the clock, but we ended up just giving the footy away and um, they get in the other end and, and score. And, you know, it really hurts when you're down by four and then to go down by eight to 10, it's uh, in a do or die game, it's tough. JD, what do you say to the group after that loss? Do you, do you have to say much? Oh, I not really thank the blokes who are moving on. It's not too much to say right now, to be honest. It's about getting around each other and feeling the hurt. Like Cam said, it's going to hurt. Uh, we can't hide from it. I can't hide from it. It is what it is. But all we can do now is take our lessons, spend a big amount of time reviewing the season, uh, thanking the players who've given us great service that won't be here next year. Harmo Sally, Blake Taff, um, have been outstanding for us. Um, Jed Cartwright as well, who uh, wasn't playing tonight, but he's leaving. So, yeah, a few guys that have been part of this group for a long time and um, will be sorely missed, but we move on. Simple as that. There's not much else you can do. Have you got anyone coming? Have you got anyone coming next year? <coughs> Obviously, Jack Whiten joins the team, but for me, one of the positives of the season has, has been the emergence of some of the young talent that's come through. I think Talis Duncan is going to be a lot better for it this time after another full NRL pre-season showed a um, special player he can be and Tyro Munro as well who um, didn't play tonight but he's 18 year old kid who will be playing through a final series in New South Cup so and there's a couple other kids under them Davey Mawali will be better for it as well so I'm really confident and comfortable with the team that we'll have next year there's no doubt about that and like I said we'll, we'll learn from what this season has played out there's a half a season and a pre-season, a lot of good stuff, a lot of things that we can take some real positives out of. But there's some real strong lessons too to be learned uh, under pressure and, and how we handled that. With the finals around the corner, NRL on nine has your cover. From match highlights, press conferences, and don't forget, Fred in the eight. Of course. NRL on nine has you covered for everything. One-stop shop. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a moment.